I know that I wanted a timid, naive woman. But you see, you are just plain stupid. Huh? My husband. Vera, this is not nice. What is not nice? You see, I know you're from the village, you are all naive, but you are not dumb. How can your husband, a man you got married to, bring another woman to your house and even have the right to ask you to go to the visitor's room mm. and left your bedroom from him and another woman and you obeyed? Huh? What is wrong with you? What's your problem? Huh? Is this marriage or what? Oh, you think this is village? Oh, you want to dash your husband to another mm. woman in this city? What do you want me to do? If he feels like bringing another woman to the house, fine. Why are you even raising your voice at me? Is he not your friend? There's somebody you should be raising your voice at. Is your friend. Please, oh, I just got married and I want peace in my home. Peace. And you think whatever stupidity you are displaying right now is going to bring peace to your home? See, see, Jude, let me tell you the truth. Whatever my old husband wants to do, let him do it. If he feels like bringing another woman to the house, let him bring another woman to the house. If he feels like bringing another woman to the house and asks me to leave the bedroom to the guest room that he wants to sleep with the woman, let him do it. Whatever my husband wants to do, let him do it. And please, I don't have strength for this business gossip cheap cheap argument no i don't want to do it i don't have time for this argument i'm not in the mood for that at all at all my husband is the king whatever he wants to do if he wants me to lie down on the ground let him step on me i will do it vera mm? what is the problem yes you may be from the village mm. so you are naive but you are not dumb i believe that you are smart enough you speak well that simply means you went to school. So what's all this? Eh? Okay. Why would you allow all this nonsense to happen to you? All this injustice? There is no injustice anywhere, Ogajud. No injustice anywhere. See, this is my matrimonial home. I will guide this jealously. And I, I don't want to choke my husband to the point that he will not want to come to the house. I'm not that kind of a person. I won't do that. He is the head of the house. I'll give him space to do whatever it is he wants to do. Please. <sighs> See, judging from the kind of man I got married to, he is your friend. If you want to talk to anyone, go and talk to him. But the truth is that I don't have solution for the problem that you think that I have because <laughs> I don't have any problem. I'm enjoying my life. So, you just let it be like that? Please. And I will advise you let it be true. Don't interfere. Please, don't interfere in my marital affairs. Don't do that. Like I said before, I don't want to choke my husband with all this, drag me here, drag me there, or push him for this. No, he is the man of the house, the head of the house. Let him do whatever he wants to do. And please, I would advise, don't talk to him about it. Let it be, I'm enjoying myself. Are you serious? As serious as I know that my name is Vera. No, you are stupidly serious. Huh? I got you this arm, Mumu. Is that what you're calling me? Huh? And you're drinking my juice? Well, whatever it is, I know you are not dumb. I'm not dumb. You need to wake up. This is marriage. This is not village play. I Plays by moon like when you play inside the, the moon. I love the my husband. And this is how uh, my grandma, my grandma, my grandma say, whatever your husband do, you should bend down. Even if your husband wants to beat you, bend down and say, That's when men, men were reasonable. Men were not beaters. They, 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 they don't I am, cheat anywhere. I am here not and there. without my husband. Okay, sorry. I, I think empty, your husband empty. has replaced the, 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 taken over your life as a god. Okay? He is my king. Uh, worship him. Worship him. It's okay. I, they can carry him to the village and become your village god. They can't worship him. Oh, God, you don't understand. Hey, Mama! <laughs> My daughter. Mama. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. <laughs> what happened? You didn't even tell us we were coming. No call, nothing, nothing. <laughs> what happened? I have been calling your husband. He refused to pick my call. I don't know why. So, 
That's why I decided to come here. Ah, he's refused to pick your call. What happened, Mama? I have no idea. Okay, Mama, since you're here, come in now. <sighs> Thank you. Mama, let me take your things upstairs. Okay. Then I'll go down and make something for you to eat. Okay. Thank I'm you very much. Thank you. Martins. You refuse to pick your call. You refuse to answer your mom. You have always been this child who does what he likes all your life, irrespective of the consequences. You have been running away from me, but you can't hide. Now that I'm here, you must tell me what I did wrong. You have been avoiding me for reasons best known to you, but I'm here now. I'm not hiding from you. Who is there? Who is there? It's me. Why, why didn't you tell me before coming? At least if you had picked my call or responded to any of my messages, you would have known that I was trying to reach you. Yeah, but you would have at least you know, dropped a message so that I would see what you want to tell me and uh, that's the right thing to do, I think. But as you don't tell me how to relate with you, or how to connect with you. You are my son for crying out loud. Ma, there's, there's nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong, Mama. The thing is, I'm a married man now. I'm just trying to focus on my wife, my family, and then how to make something out of it. That's it. And uh, I'm supposed to believe that, right? Mama, I'm your son. Why would I lie to you? If Would you lie to me? You know, you are one of my children who like to do his own things. You have your own way. You do your things. I don't understand you as an adult. Mama, are you trying to tell me something? <sighs> Nothing. Welcome home. How is work? Work is fine. Ah, Martins. My name is fresh enough, okay? Yeah. Are you not going to eat? No, I'll eat later, Mama. Why is that so? Uh, actually, Mama, my husband said I should not sit at the dining table to eat when we have visitors in the house. What is going on here? Sit down and eat. What? You heard me. I said sit down and eat. Really? So what's this drama about? Thank you. No, Mama, let me get my plate. Martin, what is going on here? Why would your wife serve and stand? Even in the olden days, this was not it was not so. A woman serves you food, then she's not allowed to sit down with uh, with uh, strangers to Mama, eat. Please, it's, it's late. It's late. Sorry. Yes, I know it's late, but this is wrong. You mean she cooks, then serves you, then go to the kitchen to to eat? Even in my days, I never did this with your father. What are you doing? Oh, Mama, it's fine, no. It's seriously fine. I don't see any problem in it. It is my husband. Whatever he tells me to do, that's what I'm going to do. I will respect him. My husband knows that. Will you shut up? I'm talking to my mother. Yes, you're talking to your mother. Your mother is not a deity, neither are you. You don't shut her up. She has every right in this house, just like you. Mama. We have been married for some time now. 
and we've been running this house the way we want it and it's been working for us so please do not come here and just cause any form of confusions please i'm begging you Who's your mother? and this is my house i think this is not a way to talk to your wife in this era it is not it is wrong and you shouldn't tolerate this you shouldn't what nonsense Vera, Mama, Mama, do you need something? No, not really. I came to talk to you. Okay, hope all is well, Mama. All is well. Okay. Vera, yes, Mama. My daughter. You know I'm a woman. Yes, Mama. And I'm a mother. Before being a mother, I'm first a woman. I'm not that type of woman who believes that um, whatever concerns my son, when it comes to my son, he is always right. And the woman is always, you know, wrong. I'm not that type of woman. I'm a woman that believes in fairness, equity. I can see that my son is my treating you. Mama, what are you saying? I'm a bit confused here. I can see that... Despite all the smiles, I can see that you're not happy and that my son is my treating you. I will tell you something. The fact that he came to the village to marry you does not make you less human. The fact that you were raised in the village does not make you a nobody. Right? <laughs> so, I am telling you, do not give him the room to my treat you. Mama, what are you saying? Because I'm a bit confused here. You know exactly what I'm saying. And stop acting confused, Vera. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know, Mama. I'm a bit confused. What are you saying, Mama? What I'm saying is, whatever you think you cannot tolerate from anybody, don't give room to it. Whatever you think, whenever you think that somebody is stepping on your toes and you cannot take it, cut it early enough. Do not allow matters to take away your dignity. Stand up for yourself. Speak for yourself. Or would you want an outsider to come to defend you? Mama, are you sure these things you're saying are for me? They are for you, Vera. They ah. are for you. And Mama, I don't think my husband is mistreating me in any way. He's not. But if you think and feel that he's mistreating me and you want me to raise my voice back at him, Mama, what would then not happen if we're alone and he decided to beat me and do something bad to me? Who will now come for my rescue? Like I said, there are ways you can still make your point without being insulted. There are ways you can talk to your husband. He will listen. Do you understand? Yes, Mama. Everything is not about fighting and quarreling. Yes, Mama. Yeah, and you can talk to him nicely. But if he refuses to listen, I am always here. Okay, Mama. You can always count on me. All right? Yes, Mama. I'll do as you say. I'll start standing up for myself. Good. With wisdom. With wisdom. Yes, Now Mama. you're talking. <laughs> Mama, let me quickly make something for you to eat. Go and rest. Okay. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome.